Hello, it's Scott Manley here playing Simple Rockets. Now, Simple Rockets is basically a rocket simulator for iPhone and or iOS and Android. I've tried this on my Nexus uh, 7. I've tried it on my iPad and my, um, my iPhone, and it all works rather well. What it is, is a rocket simulator, and it's about as close as you're going to get to Kerbal Space Program on an iPhone. Uh, I'm playing it on the PC right now. So here's an example of me uh, doing one of the test missions. Uh, you can see that I'm on a ballistic arc here, and my goal is to get it into orbit, so I need to thrust sideways when I reach this altitude. So what I do is I grab this ring, point it at the horizon. Now I can't steer, it says, I can't turn the engine while... can't turn the rocket while the engines are off it says sit tight and wait till you're 30 seconds from the apoaps well i'll just accelerate there we go and now apply 100 percent thrust by clicking on there or rather tapping on there depending upon what device you're using i played this on the train and had a lot of fun it is more or less accurate in terms of the way the orbits are calculated the only thing really that's missing is the fact that the planet Smurf for small Earth doesn't rotate. Apparently he couldn't get the physics to work correctly and so it doesn't rotate. And although all the missions tell you to start orbiting to the right, be aware that all the planets are actually orbiting uh, anti-clockwise rather than the clockwise that we've got here. So I'm just going to cut my engine. Uh, there we go. Not quite in orbit. But, um, wait until I'm 30 seconds from Apoaps. So there, I'm going to just point myself downwards so I can bring my periaps up. Ready? Ah, there we go. Exit. Hey, I completed that one. Okay, so that was easy enough. Uh, orbit practice was a, it's just a very simple example, but there's actually challenges. For example, you can try and build a low-flyer... 382 kilometers is the distance to go on this. I'm not going to try too hard, but look, here is a rocket which uh, should fly some distance. Let's take this thing out and turn it over. I've got to fly below 5,000 kilometers. There we go. Engines firing, and of course you can zoom in and out using the pinch zoom on the uh, phone or mouse wheel on the PC. Again, the PC version is very much looking like a phone application in terms of the way it's presented. So this is a pretty good approximation of what you're going to see if you have the phone version. I understand it is being released essentially today or should be released by the time you see this. It's available for um, Android and iOS and it played fine on my iPhone 4, although there was one bug. It played fine. Oh, I'm going down now. Better get some up, 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 up. Yes, there you go. You see, it does proper crash physics as well. In fact, if you come out of this, we can go into the sandbox, and let's let's go into the smaller system. Pick up small Earth, and uh, yeah, this is something which is utterly doomed. Let me show you why. Actually, what I'm going to do is add one more thing to this. We'll, we'll just show you. I'll add a side detacher there. Okay. Staging. Staging. Put all these rockets in here. One stage. And that should work just fine. Watch this. Ready? Launch. So, throttle to 100%. Fire the engines. Uh-oh. Now, fire that. And now it starts spinning like an insane whirling dervish of doom. And in fact, you see that it ha suffers structural failures and everything, so your power, your vehicle will, of course, spin to the ground and die. There we go. Descending to the ground while this thing still continues to fly here. Isn't it looking nice there? All spinning around while well, this thing... Oh! Well, so much for physics. That was unexpected. I expected the crew to die there. Well... Ah, uh, that's never to be totally surprised about, is weird physics. Okay, uh, let's exit the mission. Okay. And let's come back out of this. Or let's actually try to build a new ship. Okay, let's try to build an actual new ship that is not utterly terrible. So yeah, you click on... Click on the plus sign to add something. Oh, look, what we can do is we can add wheels to this. 
This is going to be ridiculous. Look, we'll have a little buggy here. Let's see how this works. Oh, no, it gave me a rocket. No, I should have clicked. Darn it. Okay, well, let's fly this thing into the ground. There we go. It's a ballistic missile. Okay, actually, let's try landing it. Let's try that. I'll point this here. Let's see if I can land a rocket. Uh, no, let's got to reduce my thrust to 10% thrust and see what happens. I have no idea what, what this is, where the anything is. I'm still going upwards, darn it. Okay, let's cut my thrust to zero. There we go. We're going to fall downwards now. We are not going to be long for this world. So let's try and kill my lateral velocity. Maybe 20% thrust is what I need. 90, 100, maybe 30% thrust will be what I need. Ah, there we go. See, so just dragging this ring to keep things pointed the right way. So it does try to hold orientation, but obviously if your rocket is not built for it, then you will suffer, you will spin out of control, and you will die, no doubt. Although you don't have the faces of Kerbals in the corner screaming at you, so it's hard to become emotionally attached to a rocket which uh, is able to fit in the palm of your hand. No, not that kind of rocket, boys. Stop be thinking your dirty minds like that. Uh, okay, let's try this. I didn't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to land this thing. I just thought it'd be a silly thing to try doing, and s since I can't actually fly my rover, and since I couldn't actually drive my rover. And coming down at 20 meters per second, 17, 16, too fast. Five, four, three. Oh, oh, no, no. Just balance it on the tail there. There. Oh, no. Gotta let it fall a little faster. Having not really got enough, it doesn't really have enough control here in terms of thrust. Oh. There, yes, and I'm concentrating really hard. 10% thrust, 9% thrust. Ah, oh, there we go. And then 0% thrust. Hey! See, landing totally works in this. Let's exit. Okay. So yeah, you can build it. Okay, I'm gonna try this, see if I can drive it as a rover. Actually, let's not, ah, uh, there we go. Look, let's try running it this way. No, uh, how do I do this? How did I do this, I remember. I thought I was able to drive this the other day. No, no, no. What am I doing? Unlock heading, ah, there, no. Those wheels are start of work, sort of working. Let's exit the mission, okay. How do I make a rover in this? Drag these to the trash. Oh, no. Pick this up, drag it to the trash. Let's put a fuselage on here and then attach the wheels to that. In fact, let's put more fuselage. The more fuselage, the better. The better to cruise around this landscape and explore things. Okay, let's try that now. No, I want to do this. Ah, there we go. That's how it works. You've got to unlock the direction. So look, I have myself a rover, which will mostly actually drive. So it does actually include rovers in version 1. How awesome is that? Actually, it's rather mediocre, but nevertheless, I'm sure you'll quite enjoy building your crazy space rovers and watching them die as they can't get around the planet Smurth. Yeah, can't turn the ship while the engines are off. Okay, what else do you have? You have, we well, have landing gear. So if I come out, uh, let's let's exit this and come back to, we have landing practice, which you've already seen me landing. I don't know why I should show you that. Maximum thrust, there's all these challenges you can do. And for example, the, the economy orbit you have, you know, you're trying to get into orbit using the least amount of fuel. It keeps all time high scores and there's me there. Uh, maximum speed, yeah, I think uh, I did pretty good there. That's twice as fast as the person next to me, the next person in the list. And yeah, actually, you know, if you have any doubt how much Kerbal Space Program uh, or how much this owes to Kerbal Space Program. It pretty much advertises Kerbal Space Program, despite being completely unaffiliated with it. Um, yeah, you can also start on any of the planets. Smars, Smupiter, Smatern, Smurinus, Smeptune. 
It, they're all there. Let's, uh, what could we do? We could start on Smoon, right? And we'll build ourselves an actual rocket. New ship, okay. We'll actually pick some parts. So we'll pick the Sloshy T6000 with the Blasto 170. That should be more than enough. And actually what I'll do is I'll, I'll try and get myself back to the planet, uh, black, back to the planet Smurf. Smurf, not Smurf. Okay, that should be enough to get me off of the moon. Oh, the smoon. The smoon? Yes, it's the smoon. Okay. Let's uh, get up into space. And fire! Okay, so you should be able to zoom all the way out here. I'm just going to kind of go over sideways. Now, hold on. If you can go straight to map view immediately and see how it's doing. You can fly it from inside map view. Everything's all right. And in fact, if I just keep going this way, I should eventually escape the moon and the smoon, not the moon, and fall back to Smurf. Come on. Just gonna. We're not even burning that much fuel either. Look, so what'll happen is we'll escape the sphere of influence, just like a certain other space game. You can click on this and watch it happen. There we go. And I'll just cut my fuel use to zero. Now I can do physics warp, of course. You have actual, honest-to-God, genuine, non-physical warp. Uh, let's go back to the ship view. You can zoom in and see it again. Look at this marvelous chariot of the gods, surely worthy of the Gerbil um, space agency, right? Okay, 102 kilometers. Okay, so we should be able to do warp speed. And again, you have similar speed restrictions going on here. Come on, let me get up to 250. Yeah, I mean, this the masses and sizes of the planets are very similar as well. Uh, so, I mean, yes, not the first person to do any of these things, but it's just really nice to have this on the iPhone and mess around with it. Okay, a thousand times. Ah, come on. I want to time accelerate more so that I can get back to the planet um, Smurf. Smurf, 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 Smurf. There, the Smoon from the Smurf to the Smoon. There we go. About to leave the Sphere of Influence. It doesn't, unfortunately, project the orbits through these, um, through the differences, through the transitions. Yeah, it tells me I can't turn my rocket. And I'm moving it. 200 and something meters per second, so it takes a very long time. There we go. Okay, so now we can go to normal speed. So I should probably act to kill my velocity here. Or I could just warp. Well, let's just warp around my orbit a little. And that's me flying around the moon. And I can't go any faster than this, unfortunately. What is my... My periapsis is 1882. So I'll switch back to 100 times warp speed as I swing around periaps here. There are missions. The The hardest mission they have included is to go to the Smoon and land on it. You have landing gear, so you can make sure this actually happens. But uh, I'm just going to swing around up here and then we'll make a burn here. No maneuver nodes on this, but then again, if you need maneuver nodes, uh, you're probably you're probably pretty well seasoned to the game by now. I'm totally digging it. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. A hundred times. A thousand times. Excellent. Bring myself up here. And we shall set my orbit vector for that, more or less. That's the way I'm going to go when I get here. Bring myself down towards the surface. Under 10 kilometers. Uh, and stop. Okay, now I should just be able to play. And I should be able to start firing my engine. There we go. Watch my sp watch my berry apps drop as I burn my engines. Well, we're getting close, so I can probably do like aero braking in this. I think it. To I think aero braking will in fact work. Let's see how. Let's do that. Forty three. Okay. Although I may be, I may regret it because I'm gonna have to warp, and then I'm gonna find out that this thing is running really slowly. Come on, 10,000. 
and we're gonna get down to 1000 or 100 even but uh, when I get down low enough assuming the aero braking works I should be able to uh, fire my fire my decoupler and bring myself back with a parachute okay now we are getting really low below 100 kilometers and it goes to fast forward mode now regular physics and at this point let's see yep my apoapsis is coming down so aero braking does in fact work in this now let's see let's see how much it happens you know what I should probably just turn my thing I'm gonna turn myself around now and kill my engines there we go X come on I want to kill my velocity ASAP okay come out of this um, actually zoom in Whoa. I'm ready falling back to earth excellent so let's switch back to ship view and fire my decoupler thingy I am falling back to the planet pretty fast oh 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 and maybe I'll fire my parachute oh well I think I fired that a little early and, and have uh, doomed the crew so uh, at this point it's time for me to say the game is Simple Rockets it's available for iOS, Android and PC it's by John Drew and uh, yeah I'm Scott Manley, fly safe